As we enter into another weekend with a heat advisory, staying cool is on most everybody's mind. So much so that urgent care centers here in the Key City have seen an increase in their patients regarding heat exhaustion and strokes. KRBC's Miriam Chamberlain has the latest on how to cope with this weekend's heat advisory for tonight's top story. It's not easy on a hot day like today to be out working. Just to try to maintain, you know, some some sense of being cool during during these times because it, it is rough. And for this one West Texas Pride Lawn Care Crew. As you can tell we're about halfway through the day, so. Staying cool is a top priority. The long sleeves basically repels the sun, keeps the sun off the skin. And the more that you can keep the sun away from the skin, the cooler your body will stay longer. Ronald Quinney says during this time of year, it's typically growing season, but most customers don't want to bear the heat themselves, which is where they step in. Even with the sleeves and the and the jeans, you've got to be proactive with, with plenty of water and, and frequent breaks. Over at My Urgent Care Abilene, Medical Director Dr. John Turner says they've seen an increase in foot traffic regarding the heat. Moving that person from the heat environment that they're in and putting them in a, a nice cool environment. Dr. Turner explaining what to do when someone is feeling overheated. Letting them hydrate up with, with fluids is usually sufficient enough to fix that. But when you cross over to heat stroke, Dr. Turner says the body then goes into crisis mode. It is now diverting your blood flow to your core organs because they're not working like they're supposed to. And for those working in the heat each and every day, like Quinny and his lawn care crew, Dr. Turner says, Stay hydrated, stay cool. It's the number one thing you can do. In Abilene, Miriam Chamberlain, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Miriam. Dr. Turner and Quinny both mentioning drinking plenty of fluids in this kind of weather as well as dressing appropriately. Other suggestions from the National Weather Service include rescheduling strenuous outdoor activities to early morning or evening, check up on relatives and neighbors, and never leave young children and pets unattended in a vehicle. Dr. Turner also told Miriam that they do anticipate a lot more people visiting the hospitals and clinics as we continue to see these triple-digit temperatures.